and welcome back to another video. If you're new here today, then hello and welcome. Thank you for joining us on this video. Today we are doing SpongeBob nails. It sounds easy, but I definitely have some trials and tribulations in this video. Stay tuned to watch that. So if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. And if you like this video, please do leave it a like. With all that said, let's just get on with doing these SpongeBob nails. Okay, so we've got the nails buffed and filed and ready to go. And first of all, I'm gonna be going in with these three pastel colors and they're super cute. So the first one is 609 in this pastel pink. That'll be the first color. And then we've got 835 in lilac. And then finally, we've got 605 in baby blue. So putting the pink across the whole nail, we do two coats of this. And then once that's all done and cured and ready to go, we can then go on with our baby blue and just bringing that down a little bit further on the nail. And then grabbing your very own little sponge bob, gonna go in and dab the very top line with that just to blend it out. And you're gonna need to do two coats of that also. And then going in finally with the pastel purple and doing the exact same thing, getting your little SpongeBob and then dabbing away on that very top line to blend it out. And then after that, I had a sudden thought. <laughs> I decided to go in with glitter because I can't resist. So going in again, putting the glitter down, dab, dab, dab with a little SpongeBob and then finding a blue glitter Ignore those brushes. In this video, we have a bit of a brush issue. You'll see later, all will come clear, but we have a big issue <laughs> when it comes to brushes. So dabbing that away, and then surprise, surprise, the purple is also a bit of a squiff. So doing the same thing, dab, dab, dab. Blending them all together. It doesn't have to be super, super blended as it's the background and we're gonna be putting SpongeBob on top of it so it doesn't have to be perfect so once i had done that i'm now going in and doing those flowers i guess i guess they're flowers in the background um of all spongebob themed things he has those little floaty flowers in the background in the scenery so i'm doing those in a light pastel yellow trying to keep it all the same, the cohesive, it matters. <laughs> so putting those down and I also did a couple um, in baby blue and purple again um, just to match the background um, but on the nails that I'm just doing Spongebob and Patrick only done two because they're most likely going to get covered anyway so there's not much point in spending so much time putting these down if you're just going to cover them. Okay, so this is what I did earlier. <laughs> I didn't do them earlier. So these two ones that I'm wobbling right here are the ones that are complete. They are done. We can set them aside. And these ones are going to have SpongeBob and Patrick on them. So let's get on and do SpongeBob first. So this is where the issue begins. I'm using a new brush. You can see, it's a bit, it's a struggle. <laughs> it's a bit streaky, it's a bit, what, what is going on here? It's looking very, uh, <laughs> it's not really filling the area. So yeah, that was a bit annoying. So then I went in with my original brush that I always use. <laughs> and filled in the yellow. And this one just holds on to the gel polish like no tomorrow. You can just pick up a blob and it just spreads around like perfect. You know, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Don't go buying expensive 
brushes because you know sometimes what you're using if it works it works so don't go changing if it ain't broken lesson learned but you'll see I go back I try again <laughs> I try again because these brushes are they're really nice and they're really expensive and you know they just you know they work for other people but they weren't working for me so here we go going in with that brush again it's taking the time this is sped up also I have you know this me doing this wavy line this is sped up to the max that's how long it took me to do this this is on the maximum speed on my editor <laughs> So you can get an idea of how slow I was going. But I, I, I'm trying to persevere because, you know, I like the brushes. So I'm trying to, trying, trying, tried my best. So we're still going. I need that thing that goes 10 hours later. <laughs> So moving on, <laughs> I go on to do his eyes. I need a little bit more there. A little bit more gel would help. What is that bead? Watch out. Great. Yeah, so I try to fix that. <laughs> Still trying to fix it, looking at it like that ain't gonna get fixed. Try a little bit more. It's not fixing, it's just getting worse. His eyes are so dark now. <laughs> I mean, look at that. That's just, that's not good. That's not okay. <laughs> so I scraped it all off, scraped. I filed it all off and I started again and we got to this. I'm sorry off the big jump, but I was livid. <laughs> so yeah, I had to file it all back off and I started again and I didn't know whereabouts I'd got to, so I ended up just keeping on going. But it's okay, we're on the ice cream man now. So you can see the ice cream man and you'll see Patrick get done. So SpongeBob is done. So we're now doing his little button eyes and his little button nose. And I think he's got like a, I don't know, like a liquish stick, liquish lace mouth. I don't know what they're called. They're like little laces, aren't they? And now doing the cup. I got to say, this is my favorite scene in the SpongeBob movie, apart from the um, Now That We're Men song. <laughs> if you want to know the Now That We're Men song, go check that out. It's a banger, it's a hit. But yeah, this part is my favourite part. When they're in the bar, getting basically drunk on ice cream, thinking that they're men. So now just going and outlining. The, you know, the super easy part really, unless you're using the wrong brush. <laughs> it's just one of them days. It was, you know, blimey, just, yeah. As I said, stick to what you know. Don't go, if you're starting doing gels, don't think that you have to go out and buy these really high-end brushes. You know, start with what you can afford at the time. And you know, if you want to spread out, by all means do. But if your brushes are working for you, then why change? So, yeah. Use what works for you and what you're comfortable with. So now he's complete. We are now going on and putting the top coat on. My favorite part, it really brings it all together. It makes it all shiny. I love this part. So doing that. And I'm glad that I didn't carry on. I'm glad that I just scraped it all off and started again. And yay, he's a goofy goober. He is all done, so now we are going on to Sir Patrick. As I always do, I'm outlining, plotting out, figuring out where I want him to be on the nail. So 
so we're just doing that it's a lot of you know covering over those flowers that's what's going to happen um, so this is the thing you, you never know you think you would know you'd have an idea in your head of where you're going to put the character and then you wouldn't waste time painting flowers to just cover them <laughs> I'll learn one day so that's him all put down on the nail I know where he is now I've got the idea so now we're going in and adding his pink and starting to color him in so he's got a little goofy goober hat on and that thing that's plowed into the side of his head that is a glass bowl of ice cream so that big void area of white is ice cream splattered all over his face so he's in a bit of a mess and what we're doing here is an upside down one of those glasses as I said I really like this scene so yeah innocent fun <laughs> they're just getting I don't know what they're doing it's like a bar isn't it I don't know if you've seen the film you know what I'm talking about but they're in a bar eating ice cream and there's a bartender it's not like a little cute ice cream shop there is a literal bartender um, serving ice creams and they eat so much that they basically turn out drunk um, and then end up on the floor drunk on ice cream so I think it's quite funny <laughs> I don't drink at all um, I don't see the point in it I you know I guess I've gone through that phase in my life you know as we all turn off that age when we're allowed to drink we do but I don't see the point in it it's you know a waste of money eat ice cream instead <laughs> So he's got another glass over here just in the corner of course it's empty because he's eaten it okay so I've put a little bit more detail down now and now we're going in and doing the outline of Patrick and doing all of those ice cream splatters all over him he's in a complete mess at the moment Definitely put down in the comment section if you've seen the Spongebob movie because obviously you'll know what I'm talking about here <laughs> and if you haven't are you going to watch it honestly I know it's a kids film but you know I think it's pretty good <laughs> it's got the um, you know the suspense in there you know if you like thrillers it's definitely got a thrilling part in it <laughs> See, it's, there we go. The eyes are so much easier with my original brush. So much easier. So this whole outline part is, you know, it can go on for a while. So we just keep on outlining. Putting his little eyebrows on. And I forgot that he also had arms, so <laughs> definitely had to put those in. There we go, here comes the arms. And then I carried on outlining him and that is how he turned out. A proper goofy goober so now I'm putting on the top coat and I'm really happy with how he turned out he looks absolutely bonkers but it's Patrick he's stupid and there's the set complete and that is the end of the video. If you did enjoy today's video, please do leave it a like and leave a comment down below. I really enjoy seeing your comments and hearing what you've got to say. If you have any ideas about future videos, I really do love to hear from you. So, also, if you haven't subscribed, please do if you're enjoying the videos. 
and you're watching them here and there, please do consider subscribing and turning on that bell notification button. It really does help the channel out. And until next time, happy creating. Bye-bye.